Hi everyone, this is I am Sagar Shah and today I have a very interesting game to show you. It's between Vidit Gujarati who had the white pieces and black was the very experienced Victor Bologan. Now I have to tell you that the tournament that we are talking about is one of the biggest events in the career of Vidit Gujarati because I think it is the first some kind of a super tournament that he is playing. Uh, it's the Poikowski Karpo Cup uh, and with it will be facing many top players. It's a 10 player closed round robin event. So there is Nepom Nyashi, there is Gelfand, Yakovenko, uh, Fedosiev, all these top players. And uh, today he was up against Bologan who is rated lower than Vidit but still a very very dangerous player because he's played right at the top and has beaten players like Anand, Kramnik, everyone winning Dortmund back in 2003. So today Vidit is white uh, and let's go over the game to just show you how he won. So Vidit as always began with d4, knight f6, c4, e6, knight f3, uh, b6 and we are now in the Queen's Indian territory so this is all pretty well known stuff castle castle and here uh, the normal move is knight c3 I mean uh, the main line but with it went for rook e1 and I think this is what uh, he likes to play he is preparing e4 at some point and this move is pretty useful uh, <coughs> In general, I have uh, the knowledge that I have is that black should play d5 because in that sense then rook e1 becomes a little pointless but then d5 is not the most ideal move in this setup and white can play knight e5 with this pin in the position and it's a complex game. Uh, Bologan went for knight a6 which is also a nice move, uh, no problems there, knight c3 and now white is threatening the move e4 so you have to be careful here, black made the correct move knight e4 and here I was a bit surprised with, with its move bishop f4 but I'm sure that's some kind of his preparation, uh, you don't want to usually break your structure so maybe something like uh, queen c2 could have been possible but uh, bishop f4 just developing black took bc and here if you think for a while then you would know that e4 is the idea so bishop e4 comes as a very natural move but Bologan went knight b8 and I think this is not a good move uh, in general it allows white to play e4 but the way with it conducts the game after this point is just so exemplary. So he has the center, uh, d6 was played and now e5, he took knight e5 and now uh, this is a very interesting position because after the exchange of the bishops, this is usually what uh, a white is looking for, you know the c6 square is weak, you have the queen coming to f3 in these positions and that gives black a lot of things to worry about. So first uh, Victor played bishop d6, next came queen f3 attacking the rook, knight uh, to d7 and rook a d1. So you can see Vidit has brought all of his pieces into the play. Uh, I like the way he's conducted the game and now queen e7, knight jumps to c6, queen f6 and I think this is the point where I would like you to think for a minute, pause the video and try to think as to what should uh, white play in this position. There are many opportunities but I think Vidit went for something very nice. So just uh, pause this video and after you have found the move, continue. Okay, so I think you, you had your think and uh, the move that Vidit played was rookie 4. I, I really like this move. Uh, the point is that you, if black takes this, then you can just play rook takes and the rook is perfectly placed for an attack on the king side. Here king h8 was played which is kind of a uh, interesting move. Uh, just bringing the king to the side and preparing a move like g5. 
so with it went queen e2 just removing his queen and after uh, queen g6 was played in this position uh, now once again i like with its next move as well i mean bishop c1 this is such a nice move uh, he has more space in the position so he just avoids the exchange of the bishop this bishop is going to be useful in the attack later on mm -hmm. this is not an easy move backward move to make i, I liked it very much knight f6 and now rook h4 so you have the the rook coming into the game uh, looking for an attack and after queen f5 came rook d3 the other rook now joins in for the king side play so g5 attacking the rook now rook f3 so you cannot really uh, take this and play like this because the knight on f6 is hanging so you don't get the two rooks uh, at the same time taking on h4 rook f5 looks really bad you know the structure is horrible uh, bishop could come to g5 so queen g6 was played and here another nice move intermediate knight e5 uh, you cannot take this knight because after queen e5 you have this pin and you are losing this knight so queen g7 was played by Bulugan and here it looked like what is white going to do because the rook on h4 is sort of trapped uh, but Vidit had seen it all he took on f6 a nice move over here and after g into f h4 was played if queen into f6 then I think rook h5 is a very nice little touch in the position because rook g8 is met with bishop g5 if you take rook g5 rook g5 and then there is a fork in the position so rook f6 and this is a, a nice positional exchange sacrifice because after g into h4 you might think as to what uh, is black real white really threatening in this position he's given up an exchange but with it just played queen to f3 and you can see the rook is beautifully placed, the bishop is coming into the position, the knight is excellent. So this was a pure uh, positional exchange sacrifice. Uh, bishop into e5, d into e5 and after rook a d8, uh, bishop h6 was played, queen g8 and I think uh, here, sorry first uh, if, if I'm not mistaken. Um, he did play hg3 yeah. bishop h6 queen g8 and just took this back and after rook a d8 queen f4 and and here um, bologan just threw in the towel uh, i think that's a correct decision by black because bishop into f8 is hanging and if you save it then f7 is falling in general black is paralyzed completely there are no moves white can do whatever he likes you know in this position he might even he can even you know just uh, bring his king up the board but uh, yeah this was a excellent game by uh, Vidit and uh, I think uh, a great start to this super event where uh, if he wins then this would be one of the biggest wins for his in his tournament and that is why I'm very excited with it being uh, India number three and also um, he's kind of on the brink of breaking into the super uh, tournaments and becoming a top 10 player so we will be looking at all the games of this tournament in uh, with its game in depth uh, and uh, I hope that you enjoyed the first round victory.